and thank you, uh, Alistair, for your kind introduction there. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is the, the normal kind of parish notices uh, type role. Um, uh, and also to firstly uh, thank our sponsors, uh, Darktrace, uh, Symantec, and Register Larkin uh, for their kind uh, contributions to get this, uh, get this show on the road. And we're very grateful for that. Um, and of course, we'll be uh, hearing from them all uh, at various times during the day. Um, there has been, from the original uh, agenda, a change. The ministers had to change his uh, uh, had to change his schedule today. Um, so there is a, an insert in your programs with the new agenda, um, which is just really reshuffling the uh, the running times, but not the running order apart from the minister's speech. Um, other inserts in your um, uh, portfolio there are some more biographies of speakers, but really importantly is the, uh, the feedback form, uh, the green form here. Um, this is our first uh, cybersecurity conference, um, or the Telegraph's first cybersecurity conference. The intention is to do more, but we really need your feedback uh, about how we did and whether the subject matter was correct and, and so on. Um, and so even if you have to leave earlier, you know, in the afternoon, please leave those with us uh, in, at the front desk and uh, in comments, just sort of kind of, if you do leave early, for example, tell us, you know, when you left so that we know that you haven't ignored various parts of the, uh, uh, parts of the agenda. But we, this is really important to us and grateful for your, uh, uh, for your um, uh, if you could actually put those uh, together, that'd be great. Um, during the day, we will encourage uh, questions uh, from the floor. Normally at the, after the speaking bit from the various panels and the keynote speeches have completed, um, and there'll be plenty of opportunity to do this. Um, a member, you know, put up your hand, a member of staff will bring a microphone to you, um, and so on. Um, and please uh, uh, introduce yourself and your attribution as well, uh, just before asking your question because that gives us a lot of help in you know, pr providing us with context uh, and where you're coming from. Um, at the conclusion of business today, uh, 5.15 nominally, uh, we will be having a drinks reception of some very high quality canapes and drinks in the atrium uh, just out here. Um, after, uh, for that's uh, essential networking, which is obviously an important part of the day uh, in addition to lunch. Now there is an app uh, to, this, um, uh, to this event. Um, I think the details are somewhere in the, in the brochure, um, and if you download it, it'll give you up-to-date information and so on, speaker bios, uh, and the opportunity to network with others uh, during the day. Uh, you have to download from the Apple Store or the Android Marketplace if you're on a Windows phone. I'm afraid you're a bit stuffed. Uh, it doesn't go there. Uh, and you enter passphrase and enter the code Tell Cyber, T-E-L, Cyber 16, uh, and then the guide will tell you how to download it all and, and various automatic things will happen. Um, health and safety, normal things. Uh, in the event of the uh, oxygen failure, masks will drop down in front of you. Um, however, the uh, emergency exits are uh, at the, the back of the, um, of the hall and also uh, through the side. Um, if there are an, any emergencies, then please follow instructions. There are no fire alarms planned for today, for example. Uh, if you hear an alarm and it remains on, um, then please evacuate as quickly as possible and calmly, it says here, uh, through the nearest fire, uh, fire exit and make your way to the assembly uh, area. Um, people will be pointing you in the right direction to a place of safety. It's actually in West Tenter Street and then just wait further instructions and we'll work out what to do. Uh, from there on in. Um, if you could do the normal thing of making sure all mobiles are switched to silent or off or whatever, I'd be very, very grateful. Um, just some points from me to begin with before introducing our first speaker. Um, you could actually go to a cyber conference every day uh, of the week if you wanted to, but we've tried to make this one different. Uh, we've had a, uh, an advisory board helping us through uh, the const uh, construction of the agenda. But historically, as I saw it in the, when I first started uh, my encounters with cyber and security, or as we call it then, information warfare, in the MOD in the mid-1990s, 
When this started to come to uh, prominence, this problem about insecurity in the electronic domain, we had a brief period when I think the management uh, of the risks and threats was absolutely right. And that was at the highest level through cabinet official committees going down through advisories, uh, through to boardrooms and to national agencies and bodies. And these were obviously the days when your antivirus update came through on a quarterly uh, floppy disk from Dr. Solomon or, who, or whoever, if you remember those uh, wonderful days. Um, but then the approach really rather quickly turned into one of a system-centric approach uh, led by, uh, and I think I saw Professor uh, Paul Cornish, my ex-boss from Chatham House, uh, what we call the Technorati. Um, and that systems level, a technological approach, as we know, failed uh, over time. We then transformed ourselves, I think, our thinking into data-centric approach. So as long as you kept your data safe, put it in an unassailable vault, patch like mad, virus check everything, and air gap the whole lot, what could be easier and uh, where were the points of failure in that? And of course, things like the the Stuxnet virus attack on Natan shows that even air gaps are fallible and no matter what processes you put in place, uh, if people really want to get through to you, they will always succeed if they are determined and well resourced enough. So once again, failure. So we're now, I think, where we need to be. It is an organizational approach that is beginning to work in cyber and which is beginning to show mitigative effects on uh, cyber insecurity. Technology and data integrity have their places, surely, but the management of cyber is no longer for something for the people in the IT department um, or for the experts and specialists. Uh, it has truly gone upstairs to the boardroom, and of course we have uh, Sony Pictures, all those hacks like Sony Pictures Entertainment, and indeed Talk Talk, uh, who I am delighted, absolutely delighted, are here today to share their experience of boardroom management of, of, um, uh, of, a, of, a, uh, of a very public cyber uh, attack. The boardrooms really are beginning to get to grips with this as a risk, as they realize, as Alistair said, that things like uh, company value, growth in earnings per share, share price are all going to be affected. Vulnerability to, as that share price takes a dip to a hostile murder and acquisition, for example. Um, it ha really has got very far-reaching potential effects. Um, judged by how the enterprise firstly absorbs an attack as it, as it will surely develop uh, and then recovers if the attack is too potent and overcomes the layered protective controls through a risk management regime that the company has put in place. So we've got a really excellent set of speakers uh, today um, and as I say really importantly a session with Talk Talk to give us some uh, practical um, uh, experience of what happens when these things uh, start to go down at boardroom level. And our objective is to give you some practical ideas about the tool sets that you will have at your disposal. Um, and this we're going to do uh, from, from an aspect of practical experience of the management and organization of cyber at boardroom level. Um, what I've done, and once again, Professor Cornish uh, will know about a study uh, that we did a number of years ago, in, uh, not too long ago in Chatham House, um, where we actually developed some, you know, a, a checklist of about 10 things uh, that uh, boardrooms should consider as they look at cyber risks. Um, and what I'm gonna do as we go through the day, as these things are mentioned and discussed, we will actually, I will actually tick them off and, uh, and then at the end of the day, see if we've actually identified all of these. And if we have, then we can say that we've actually, actually had a very, very good discussion. But thank you very much indeed. That's my opening uh, introduction. I'd like now to intro introduce Dr. Uh, Mike Lynch, uh, OBE. Uh, Mike, of course, has had a distinguished career in the development of complex IT, ICT systems, including being a founder of Autonomy, uh, the UK's largest software company. Uh, and who is now uh, an advisor to uh, Darktrace, uh, uh, who is our premium, uh, uh, our principal sponsor for today. Um, thank you very much indeed, Mike.